Okay. Okay, so why did NASA land on the moon after a period of 50 years? Did, did NASA land on the moon? It's a psyop. Why all of a sudden is, Na is NASA going back to the moon? Why did they stop going to the moon? Isn't it funny that you made all this progress going to the moon and all of a sudden you stopped? Why did they stop going to the moon? They are, um, they are fighting with the Russians again, so they have to show the American people U.S. has a technological edge. NASA was a psyop from the beginning, an invention of the CIA, deep state, cabal. I don't think NASA landed on the moon. And you can hear some some interesting <laughs> pieces of info there. Someone is on the moon and humans may have been taken to the moon and back, but it's not NASA or at least the public facing NASA. There is a secret space program and that secret space program, there is a collaboration with the ETs or the Atlanteans, the, pre the humans uh, before the flood and other NHI. That's a secret space program may have gone to the moon, but um, the public facing NASA is a PSYOP. And <laughs> the official story of the moon landing was a PSYOP, a counterintelligence operation done to convince the USSR the US had more advanced technology. How sick it is to do that to your own people. I mean, okay, you want to do a counterintelligence on the on the Soviets, fine, but to do that to your own, like, to, to, to humanity? I think the ETs cabal may have taken some humans to the moon and back, or and or aided in the, this psyop. I heard this, this where this lady who was working with... Uh, with uh, She's a NASA engineer, and she was saying that before any launch operate, like if they want to launch some satellite or something, then the ETs have to give permission. <laughs> like she was saying that this is what they did, and she said she saw some gray type aliens or humanoids. But she's saying that the ETs are controlling the situation. If they want, um, if they don't want, NASA to launch, they will and change the weather or do something to stop the launch from happening. But if if they if they're okay with the launch, they may even clear the weather. So, <laughs> I think the ETs are the ones who are doing that. Yeah. Uh, this is the depth of the lies most of mainstream surface humanity is living under. What an ontological shock it will be if and when they, they find out the truth. Here are some more vids on that. I'm not saying the Earth is flat. I'm not saying, I think some of these people think just because the NASA didn't go to the moon, it means the Earth is flat or something. I'm not saying the Earth is flat. But I don't think we know what space is. You know, the Hamish I don't know if that's the right spelling. Uh, the Israeli Space Force chief said that uh, the, the, the Galactic Federation is waiting for humans to figure out what space is. So maybe space is not what we think it is. Maybe it's, I don't know. I don't understand the physics, but I'm not saying the Earth is not flat. Maybe the Earth is flat. I mean, I'm, I, am, I am like, I'm not d dismissing that. I think there is something here. But maybe it's not like what we think flatness is. No. Here's another thing. What's the recent mobile signal blackout in the US? An operation to remove and reinstall new software in these telecommunications networks because the good guys know they are compromised. 
here's uh, some uh, some information on that did space force do something good for humanity here's an, here's a, no that's that's down here oh yeah here's what that that is did space force do something good for humanity here's some in this here's some information about the the they're saying it's a solar flare but you know it might just be that might be the excuse to do this operation i don't know who did it with. did the good guys do it did the bad guys do it uh was the solar I think it's very likely the solar flare was an excuse, plausible deniability, so they can do this kind of uh, reinstalling of Ericsson. And Ericsson, in the MH370, I heard, remember that Ericsson was, was it, was it Ericsson or Nokia? Some, <sighs> the spying on Americans, you know, maybe the, 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 these, the telecommunications networks are compromised and um, the cabal might have control over the telecommunications and now and some people are saying maybe space force knocked out a satellite or they reinstalled the software so we can gain control over so over the telecommunications networks <laughs> that it's an interesting idea I, I'm, i don't know i mean maybe that's that's a, it's possible um is the announcement to the landing on the moon by pre-recorded pre recorded someone left a comment like that uh here's another interesting video where people are you know wearing uh those those clothes with virtual goggles and living in some kind of a simulation my comment is maybe this has already happened and we are living in the simulation that is we are literally strapped to a chair somewhere and our waking moments are run by a quantum computer a la the matrix some people think the universe is a simulation you know hmm. as above so below our technology is like a a, a a derivative of the actual advanced technology which is human you can think of humanity Earth, the universe as advanced technology, and the and the technology humans make are like a poor man's version of the actual technology. It's a derivative of the really advanced technology, which is DNA, the universe, uh, and it, this might be created by some other beings which are living in another dimension. Uh, that's an that's an interesting idea, and you know. Um, yeah, it does make you think, you know, <laughs> it's like, oh, it all could be one big simulation. And, and wow, if, if it is a simulation, why are they, why is, what is the reason of, for the simulation? Are they feeding on our souls like the Matrix RV batteries or something? I don't know. <laughs>